So hey guys, the reason why you heard a part of the Jaws theme song a second ago is not because I'm reviewing a Jaws film today, but it's because I'm reviewing the new shark film, which is called 47 Meters Down. Um, this is a movie that was supposed to be um, a direct-to-video release, I think, originally, or some type of video-on-demand release. But because the idea was so neat and because <clears throat> it got enough traction the way it did, we managed to get a theatrical release. I'm actually kind of thankful for that because <clears throat> this film is actually a lot better than um, what people are really saying about it. Um, I'm really glad that a film with such a neat concept for a shark film uh, got recognized, got noticed, um, and managed to get a theatrical release because of that notice. Um, and, well, <laughs> that's why I'm really excited to review this film for you today. Uh, but in this movie, 47 Meters Down... <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with my throat there, but um, these two girls are on vacation in Mexico, and um, one of them recently got over a bad breakup with a boyfriend, and so they're just trying to kind of have fun, uh, live a little bit, um, have some drinks, have a nice day at the beach every here and there while they're there. And so one day while um, Mandy Moore, who's one of the girls in, the, in this um, two girls, um, is kind of having, you know, still... <clears throat> kind of regretting this bad breakup she had with the boyfriend, um, the other friend uh, manages to meet a guy in Mexico who has this little tourist attraction uh, gig of some kind where you go into a shark cage for about five minutes and um, they put chum bucket, um, you know, goos and guts like they did in the Jaws movie when Chief Brody's throwing the, the fish and blood out into the water. <coughs> they can never clear my throat for this review and so basically um that's how they attract these sharks over to this cage and you basically get a first person look at shark swimming by you at fish swimming by you uh possibly if there's fishes nearby you'll see the sharks eat the fishes and stuff so um at first it's kind of a neat little idea a neat little attraction for tourists <coughs> and so strangely enough Mandy Moore's friend goes back to the hotel room where Mandy Moore is, tells her everything about it, tells her that this guy's really cool, seems like a neat person, uh, has a friend of his that's really attractive if Mandy Moore wants to pursue a relationship with this friend of his and stuff. Uh, so they go out and have some drinks, they go out and meet these guys, Mandy Moore gets to meet the uh, guy and the friend that have this tourist attraction thing that they offer for people. And so, you know, Mandy Moore, of course, like everybody else, is really hesitant about this, is really scared. Or she's worried that something happened, like something does. And so basically at first she doesn't go through with it, but the friend talks her into it, talks her into, you know, taking photos of like the sharks and the fish and stuff and sending it to the boyfriend in hopes that, you know, this, this girl has a tendency to live. She's not boring like the boyfriend once claimed her to be and so forth, that she can actually do these really cool um, <clears throat> tourist attraction things that not a lot of people get to do over the course of their lives and so forth. So eventually Mandy Moore comes to terms and says, you know, I'll do it, you know, because you really want me to do it with you. Uh, so they go out, you know, they're in the shark cage. The first five minutes or so is perfectly fine like any tourist attraction ride would be. Uh, but then all of a sudden one of them drops the camera and the camera is eaten by one of the sharks below the cage. And so at that point, Mandy Moore and the girl who, they have this way of communicating with the people up on the boat, saying, uh, we kind of want to come up now. The sharks are kind of getting aggressive, and we kind of want to come up now. So basically, they're in the process of doing this for them. You know, the, their five minutes is almost up anyway. And then, out of nowhere, the uh, wiring breaks, and the cage drops to the very bottom of the ocean, 47 meters down below the boat. And so now they're stuck there. And they have a hard time communicating with the people on the boat because their communicator in their scuba diving gear um, can only reach so far when they're so, um, so far away from them. And the cage was only about a couple meters away from the boat anyway, so they were, they were closer when they were in the range of the boat. And so now they're stuck down below, and now the sharks are hungry, and now the sharks want to eat them. <laughs> And they're stuck in this cage below the ocean. So now they have to figure out, do they stay there and just kind of let their oxygen run out? Or are they going to take a risk every here and there trying to find a way to get away from these sharks and swim back up to the boat and hopefully survive the situation? So overall, guys, I really enjoyed this movie a lot. It's a very thrilling movie. Um, it was definitely a very fun experience. I'm glad I saw it in a theater because it definitely is a theater movie. It's a movie where... 
Um, some of the best aspects of the thriller portion of the movie are best ex experienced on a big screen, which is definitely the way I preferred watching this movie. So for my positives and negatives of 47 meters down, first and foremost, this film is very frightening. Whenever one of these girls takes a risk by going out of this cage and trying to figure out how to get rid of these, you know, how to avoid these sharks and so forth, um, it's, it's very scary. You really have no idea um, once one of them swims out a certain length and they kind of disappear into the darkness of the ocean, what exactly is going to happen to them at that point. It's just a very frightening situation that the film takes complete control and master and mastery of of the concept and it's just extremely frightening to experience and also there's some very great shark scenes in this movie they definitely take full use of the fact that there's all these sharks swimming around down below by this cage um, it's just really incredible to see um, really impressive cgi come to work here because i think cgi can be good when it's used correctly, when it's used more so as a tool than as telling your movie. Um, they definitely did a great job making sure it was a tool in this situation where um, the sharks look believable and scary. And just really incredible shark scenes, I think, were filmed here whenever they're trying to get out of the cage and find a way back onto the boat. Um, I also thought Mandy Moore's performance... And Matthew Modine's performance, who plays the captain of the boat, they both have very strong performances here. I definitely like how Mandy Moore's character uh, very much treated the situation, kind of like how I would treat it or how a lot of other people would treat the situation. Really scared, really frightened. Um, her and the friend, the friend actually had scuba diving certified lessons, and Mandy Moore did not. So Mandy Moore has to figure out how to use all the scuba diving stuff, how to attach a new air tank to her equipment, if her air runs out and so forth. So there's all this stuff that I'm sure a lot of people would face if in her, in her situation, um, not only having to deal with these sharks, but having to deal with uh, learning scuba diving equipment while in the situation. So I really like, just liked how her performance felt very realistic in the sense that a lot of people would freak out over this, kind of like how she did in this movie. Um, and Matthew Modine, he does everything he can to get these two poor girls out of this situation because he definitely feels responsible for happen, letting this happen to them um, and that these Mexican kids kind of convinced her to convince these two girls to do this thing. Uh, so I really like how his performance was very much about like getting sure that they survive and get onto the boat so they don't get eaten by the sharks and so forth. But like I said, I really, you know, it's not a very character driven movie, I guess you could say, but I do like how. Mandy Moore's performance and Matthew Modine's performance do deserve more credit than I'm sure a lot of critics are going to uh, give them not a lot of credit for. I also like the scary use of darkness in this movie. Whenever a character decides to swim out, try to figure out how to get rid of these sharks and get back onto the boat, um, I like the scary use of darkness where when a character swims into the darkness, you cannot see them. There's a certain point where if they swim out a certain length into a certain distance, you cannot see them if you're in the cage and you're stuck there. And if they get lost, they get lost. And they have to find a way to get back to the cage, either through your voice or through your noise. Uh, but other than that, they cannot see what's going on. There's actually a very scary sequence in this movie that involves the darkness when Mandy Moore tries to go out and figure things out. That's extremely scary. One of the scariest things I've seen in a movie in a long time. Uh, so they definitely played with the darkness of the ocean extremely well in this movie. Um, there's also an ending I really can't talk about too much because it is, would be spoiler territory, but I will say it's clever, it's unexpected, and what I like about it is all the things that happened in the third act that you might have had a problem with, like, hey, why are the sharks being so easy on them? How come it was so easy to swim upward when they were told not to do that? How come their scuba diving equipment is working so easily now and so forth? Everything is, is explained, I would say, within the last couple minutes of the movie because the ending you're thinking that you're getting it's not exactly the ending you're getting. It's it's one of those weird things where you have to stick around for the whole movie. Make sure you do see the last scene of this movie. Because it definitely explains a lot of the craziness that happens in the third act. And why certain things are, are much easier than they were earlier on in the movie. So I can't say what it is. But be sure to see that very last scene before the credits roll. Because it's clever. It's unexpected. And it definitely fixed a lot of problems I was almost going to have with the third act. And I actually really liked how clever and how, like I said, unexpected that last minute ending was with this movie. It also has a lot of, um, another thing I wanted to bring up too was 
It also has a lot to do with about Mandy Moore learning about the scuba equipment and what to do and what not to do. And they definitely play off of something that she was told not to do that I thought was also very clever. Um, I also like how the opening credits are very much in the spirit of the first Jaws film, how it starts off in the water, just like how the first Jaws film does. Um, and I just like how you, we kind of get used to um, we're being shown where these characters are going to be throughout a strong course of the movie. And then we end up to how they, you know, where they are currently at that point in the timeline of the story. And it's just, I really like the opening credits. It really felt like it was in the spirit of the first Jaws movie. I also like the scare timing in this movie. They definitely timed all the shark scares very well in this movie. So a huge thumbs up to both of that. Um, the scare timing in this was very, very good. For my negatives of 47 meters down, though, there are a couple of plot sheets. There's a couple of points in where it's like, okay, that seemed convenient, or oh, the the sharks just happened to not be there in that situation, or, or how come that person's bleeding there and the sharks aren't reacting to that and so forth. So there's a couple of little plot sheets every here and there. It's just like, oh, come on, you know, let's let's make this a little bit more realistic here and make sure that everything is consistent with everything else. Another negative I have with the movie is uh, around the time where the two girls are in the shark cage going into the water for the first time and there's a lot of daylight coming in still to the ocean. Uh, some of the daylight on the sharks did look a little fake. That's one of the few points of the movie where you can tell that they're using CGI sharks and not real ones. Uh, but the second that they're down in the ocean, they're in the darkness of the ocean of 47 meters down below the boat, um, that problem is immediately fixed. The, uh, definitely the scenes where... The dark lighting on the sharks definitely helped this film a lot with the CGI. That makes the CGI look a little bit more believable that way. But when daylight is striking the sharks, the CGI is a little visible, I thought, with that. The other negative I have with the movie is the character intros as far as learning about Mandy Moore, learning about the friend that convinces her to do the shark cage gig, um, learning about these two guys and this captain played by Matthew Modine who kind of convinced them to do this boat trip, boat trip thingy. Um, I thought the intros to those characters felt pretty standard issue. It's like, okay, okay, here's this person, here's their problem, here's this person, here's the thing they're going to do within the movie, here's this person, here's what he does. And it, it just felt very standard issue. It felt like a very uninteresting way to introduce us to these characters. I really thought this film could have done a better job with this. But at the same time, though, the film really wants us to get down in the cage with these characters pretty quickly, and it does does so that pretty quickly. It definitely spends a lot of time in the ocean for sure, which is definitely the way I think 47 meters down should be presented. Um, but for the most part, like I said, the character introductions did feel a little standard issue for me. But overall, I'm going to give 47 meters down a 9 out of 10. It's a great movie. Definitely one of the better shark films since Jaws, I think. I do like it better than Open Water in the Shallows, which is also a big compliment because I like those movies quite a bit. Uh, so 9 out of 10 for me. If you like shark films, be sure to check out 47 Meters Down.